Hello everyone and welcome to this quick tutorial on using the Bananabox DAW AAX plugin with Pro Tools. This is not a comprehensive tutorial, it's just a quick start guide. So what we're going to do is load the plugin in Pro Tools and generate some tracks and drag them into the DAW. Um, yeah, so let's get started. So first of all, we're going to start up Pro Tools and create a new project. And I'm going to give it a name, so uh, I'll call it Ban in a Box Testing. And uh, for best results with the plugin, I suggest that you use a sample rate of 44.1 kilohertz and a bit depth of 16. You can also set a location for your project and then click on Create. Okay, so here we are. Right now we're in the Tracks window. So I'm going to go to Track, New. I'm going to create a new stereo instrument track. And I'll call it Band in a Box. And I'll click on Create. Great. Now we want to switch views to the mixer. So you can do that by going to Window, Mix. And here you can see uh, we have our one track that we created and there's an area called inserts A to E and that's where you'll load all your plugins. So you can click on the first box there and go to multi-channel plugin and instrument and then band in a box DAW AAX plugin. Great, so there it is. And uh, just in the background, I'm going to switch back to the tracks window. Okay, and in the Bat on a Box plugin, uh, basically now you can use it as you would use the regular desktop program uh, in most ways. You can enter chords, you can select a style, adjust the tempo, etc. Uh, so I'm going to select a style first, so I'll click here where it says select a style. Okay, and uh, there's going to be lots and lots of styles in here, so for me specifically there's over 6,000, depending on your package or maybe uh, more or less. So, we're just going to find a random style here. Uh, I'm not going to look too hard, but um, let's see here. Um, we'll choose the slow jazz with bass and piano style. And I'm going to click on load song demo so it loads, uh, you know, some chords for us to work with. So you don't have to enter all those manually. And as you can see, the chords are here. All of the tracks that were loaded into the song are here. And uh, it's actually going to start generating all the tracks for me um, just when the song opens. Okay, so the tracks are done generating. And uh, before in this area right here, there was uh, some empty rectangles. You could only see the outlines of them, and now they're all filled in. And that essentially means that uh, the tracks are ready for dragging. Now, uh, we can drag from the green uh, rectangle on the master track, which will give us a mix of our whole song. So that's all the tracks mixed together. Uh, we can also click and drag on one of these other green rectangles, which will give us an individual audio track from one of those tracks. So for example, here I have the bass. Um, you can also drag from this blue rectangle, which will um, give you all of the stems. So all of the individual audio tracks. Uh, and as you can see here, it's, it's three separate ones that are going to be dropped in here. And they'll just uh, all land on different tracks there. Now, there's also these orange uh, rectangles on the right. And those are for real charts. So for example, our bass track has uh, MIDI real charts data. And I can drop this into Pro Tools and view it as a chart. Um, yep, yeah, so here it's just saying, uh, it's asked me you know, how I want to put this in here. And I can drop it as an instrument track or a MIDI track. In this case, I want it uh, as a MIDI track and I want it at the session start. So that all looks good. Okay, so uh, that's basically, you know, how you get started with the Band in a Box plugin. Uh, we've dropped some audio tracks in, we've dropped some MIDI. Um, 
If you would like to know more about it, you can go to www.pgmusic.com, then go to support and plugin. Thanks for watching and have fun!